Hi, beautiful. What am I wearing? What do you mean? This? This outfit? What is it? And no, it's not Balenciaga. It's actually not Gucci either. It's actually just my merch. It's f so cute. I'm sorry, but like, I didn't have to pop off like this. It's like so annoying. I hate myself for it. Like, ugh. Stop popping off, Brad. Ew. Okay, so like, obviously it says live your extra life on both sleeves. If you get the sweatpants, it says it on the leg. And we have a t-shirt underneath. And we also have a tote bag and a hat. Where are those? Where's my tote bag and hat? And we have this beautiful zip up because we only do high quality here at Xmondo. It also has a little pocket inside. Literally, these are the softest hoodies ever. And they're like just thin enough so you don't sweat your ass off, but also thick enough so you are warm as f Also has these amazing high quality strings and just like everything just is so high quality. You guys will know when you order it yourself. Also, we have this so, this beanie is so cute. Are you kidding? This is Live Your Extra Life embroidered on it and the embroidered X. If you guys would like brand new Live Your Extra Life merch, I know it's been so long. You can shop it below, but also I'm doing a giveaway because it is the holidays and I just love giving you guys stuff. I'll be giving away three sets of merchandise to three of you. All you gotta do is follow me at BradMondoNYC, at XMotoHair, and at XMotoColor. Those are my three Instagrams. They're all linked below. Just just follow them all and you'll be entered to win. Just show your love basically is all you need to do and just show us why you wanna win and we will be picking three of you guys on Monday, December 28th. I'll be posting it on my story and DMing the winners. Good luck. Can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this merch. All right, today we're watching season 13 of America's Next Top Model. And I'm pretty sure we only have like four more America's Next Top Model episodes to go. If you guys wanna binge the rest of my reaction videos to America's Next Top Model, you can check the link below. It's a playlist with every single America's Next Top Model reaction video I've ever done. We're doing the huge. We're gonna see how these makeovers go, see if there's any good ones, bad ones. I'm sure there will be a lot of bad ones because you know, things go a little weird. On America's Next Top Models and Dogs. I missed it. I feel like I haven't watched these in a while. So let's see what happens today. Let's do it. Let's start watching the episode together. I'm so excited. For this haircut. I wonder what they're gonna do with you. I don't really care. They tell us we're having a tie over. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Brittany, we're going to edge you out and make your hair darker. Don't be scared. What the f is this drawing they're doing over her head right now? We're gonna make you darker. They just start scribbling all over her. Okay, she looks a lot older with the darker hair. I don't think it's gonna look very good, but all right, we'll give it a try here. Let's see what happens. You don't look calm anymore. You stand out and your eyes are piercing. They are killing me. Oh my uh, I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Or seductive. I think it definitely gives me an edge. I think it's too dark for her skin tone. I think it really washes her out. I don't think that makeup is helping either, but the blonde, she looks so much healthier. It looks so much better with her skin tone. They could have made it darker, like brought down her roots a little bit, made it like a darker shade of blonde, but this shade of brown is just really too dark for her, in my opinion. Erin, for your tie over, I'm gonna make you ice blonde, honey. It's a little cold. I feel the ice. And we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna do the brows too. It was a real shock to see all this platinum on my face, but I feel a lot more high fashion. I'm sorry, what? This is so pretty. She looks like a goddess. First of all, great execution on that color. It is so perfectly blonde. It looks delicious and healthy. Her eyebrows blonde is the chef's kiss. Like, oh my God, she looks so good. Whoa. I hope it's being shaved. You're getting shaved? I'm gonna lose it all. I'll be really fast right now. I'm not a big fan of Nicole. I don't know if she's being sarcastic, I don't know if she's being humorous, or if she's being serious. She wants to shave it. it makes me nervous when she speaks. I like eyeballs. My nickname when I was little was Bloody Eyeball. <laughs> that is literally me. Did you just hear that, Emma? What? She, somebody's like, this girl makes me scared when she speaks. They just cut to a clip of her being like, eyeballs, bloody eyeballs. <laughs> like, just randomly, like, saying literally, bloody. Literally, that's actually literally you. That's literally that's you. me on a reality show. That's literally you. Just like, like sitting flash in the- to, Flash to Brad. Eyeballs flash to me. <laughs> Just like, my back, like <laughs> no, you being like my bag, <laughs> and then back to me, and I'm like, and you're like, do you like Cheetos? Yeah. 
then flashback to Emma and she's like, <laughs> and then and then she's like singing a song. <laughs> no, so you're gonna fla every time they flash you, you're gonna be like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Brad, I wrote this song last night. Rachel, I love your dark brown doe eyes, and I think. Oh, she's so pretty. Hair would look fantastic. Yes, I agree. Oh, wait, who is that sexy woman right there? Okay, get back off the mirror. I am. Ooh. I feel like it makes me look sophisticated. Okay, so I still think it was too dark. It looks kind of like it doesn't reflect light. Like it's a very inky, like dark color that has like no depth to it. I think it's lacking like highlights. I think that's what it really is for me. Like having just one solid color brown that has no reflective properties to it. I just feel like it looks kind of like muted and, and dull. You can have like lighter brown highlights in between or something that just kind of like adds a little bit of spice, you know? Otherwise it just looks kind of inky and like dark and like it's kind of like weighing them down. I don't know, not my favorite look, but was cute. I think her eyes definitely stand out with this hair, but I would have liked it with a little more highlights going on. Jennifer, for your tie over, I am going to cut off some of the- Yes. Yes, she needs that. Brow, I wanna lose this part right here so that they go straight up, honey. I feel that I look more like a model and how the industry wants to portray me and it wants to see me. You look the same. I would have liked her to do like a full on like bob. Maybe like down here, been nice for her. Pin straight, bangs, bang, bang, boom. I think she would look so much more like a model. I think this hair is like, kind of like mm, LA girl type of vibes. I do though like the dark hair on her. I, I'm glad that they stuck with the dark hair. I approve of that. Just the haircut was kind of like, what did you do there? Lisa, you got that long, beautiful Lisa. hair, but that's the problem. We don't want you to appear too sexy, especially when your face has naturally sexy features. So we're gonna chop it. Off. Yes. It's good. No. I think that Lisa. That's it. Coming back, there's nothing about her to me that stands out. Like her presence is not, hello, I'm here. I was expecting to have like a drastic, drastic, drastic change. Yo, they really screwed her over so bad. Y'all really hit her with that brown hair with a little slight trim when she already looked like not, I'm not quite a model yet. I swear to God, they sabotaged some people on this show on purpose. Or maybe the hairstylist just thought it would look the best like this. I don't know. But I think she would have looked so much better if they did something totally drastic, like made her platinum blonde or like pink or something, gave her like a short haircut and made the thing pin straight, like just totally opposite of what she has now. I think it would have at least put her in the competition and gave her a little more personality and a little more glow. But this is just not cutting it for me. Now over here, Miss Sunday had this on her hair. <laughs> I think it's hot on you. Sunday, you're weak. Sunday. My old beads piled up onto your head and I'm going to make you have the hair of Rihanna. Ooh. Oh. Ew, it's really cute. I can definitely work this. Definitely love the shortcut on Sunday. She looks beautiful. I think it brings out the beautiful bone structure in her face and makes her cheekbones appear higher and fuller. Obviously, this haircut's a little dated. Not my favorite haircut of this time, but it worked back then. I like the color on her. I think it was all around pretty decent. Not my absolute favorite, but decent. Courtney looks fabulous as she is. I just think that her little hair needs a little bit more red. Mm. It doesn't make me look ordinary like plain Jane, which I like. I think she looks a bit older, but I love it. I would 100% wear that hair. I want red hair. Once we come out with red color, I'll do it red. Oh yeah, for sure. 100%. Oh yeah. 100,000 percenters. You're gonna jump on that wagon. 80,600 percent. You're gonna be driving that wagon all the way. I'm gonna be redheaded and bushy-tailed. But her hair is like exactly what I would do to mine. I love that it's all spiked up. I love everything they did to her hair. I don't know if it was like the most optimal haircut and color for her, but I think she looked good. And I think she looked way more like a model after. Uh, just at least she had some kind of presence. When she walks into a room, you're gonna look at her type of vibe, you know? Lulu, with those gorgeous eyes, I wanna bring some emphasis to them and give you a bang. And you're gonna get a weave on the sides. I've never had weave before. Oh, wow. Big transformation. Oh, 
we're getting some good ones today. Okay, Lulu, you look good. They did you good. I don't know, the weave looked a little janky for some reason. Like, it was a little, like, flat in some areas that it wasn't supposed to be. I think it looked, should look a little more rounded at the top. Maybe it was just the braids that were a little weird underneath. But love the bang. Love the cut. Love the straight hair and love the color. I think it was beautiful. I'm into it. She looks incredible. Like, really solid makeover. When I realized we are getting makeovers, I was like, what are they gonna do to me? Bianca. What are they gonna do to her? Change on ya, those brows. Oh, they're giving her blonde brows? They're not gonna bleach the top of her head too though? Weird. Are you nervous about your eyebrows? Yeah, I am. I think it's gonna look dope. Oh my God, it feels like acid on my face. It was burning. It hurts. <laughs> it's not supposed to burn like acid on your face. It's really horrifying. I'm so sorry that happened. <laughs> what? It's like acid on my face. Well, it's, it's yeah, not it's like, it's supposed to. Like you're supposed to be going to the hospital. That's no. scary. <laughs> what the hell am I ever? <laughs> no, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you need to understand. This is a look, honey. I was like, where are my eyebrows? What, you don't like it? Why? I don't have any eyebrows. Where the hell are my eyebrows? <laughs> Girl, they stole them from you. Honestly, the first time I saw it, I was like, I hate this. This is not something I would have gone to a makeup artist to get done. Like, I look like an alien. And I do think the alien look is good. So, I mean, it's not bad. I'm undecided on this one. It's like fun, but it's also like, uh, could have bleached your head too. Nicole, I think for her tie over, she's gonna need some fire. Yes, make her hair super red. Big lion mane. I'm feeling awesome after this sweet makeover. I'm like a beast with some high heels. Could have been really good. Didn't quite go as, as I planned in my head. I definitely like that huge, giant, big hair on her. It was really pretty. I think they should have done a deeper shade of red, but overall, I, I really like it. I think I'm happy they stayed with that copper tone for her because I think it just really works with her skin tone and she looks so good in that, but still just not really my favorite. It was fun, but not like drastic enough. Frank, for your tie over, we need to ice you out some more, okay? I'm feeling the ice and we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna do the brows too. They're really obsessed with doing the brows this season. <gasps> Blonde and it's amazing what a difference that can make. Whoa, that was beautiful. She would be one of my favorites, but I already picked a girl that got this exact same kind of makeover. Also, the other girl and her look very, very similar. They do it on purpose. Like, why are they giving the same makeovers to two people? Just the blonde platinum hair with the blonde eyebrows. Come on, guys. They look like goddess aliens. Like, it's just fun. You have to say it's fun. Come on. It's fun. Oh, Miss Laura, we're gonna do a couple of highlights with a couple of different colors of highlightnessness to make you sparkle and shine. First, I was very disappointed because I was like, I wanted something edgy. But after I start looking at it, I'm really liking it. I'm sure you are because it is very Texan and very big and dramatic. I hate it. <laughs> it was just way too bulky for her. You, like you couldn't even see her face under all that hair. I mean, if they're gonna do highlights, really highlight it. I get the whole big hair thing, but maybe do like a Bridget Bardot style or something like that. Something like a throwback because this whole like huge mane was just not working for her face. Oh, Kara, even your before picture is lovely and you haven't even been tyrosized yet. We're gonna just brighten you up a little bit. I love the highlights. I feel like so like beachy, especially since my skin is still dark and I still have my dark eyebrows. I think that was one of my favorites. I mean, she looked good. It wasn't so dramatic. I just love that they did a little something and it really spiced her up. She looked so bronzy and I don't think she needed that much work and I'm glad they didn't push it too far with her. If you can bring out somebody's natural beauty with just a little bit of, of a new haircut or a new color, I think that's like the best thing of all. Ashley, we are- Oh, Ashley's gorgeous. Center part and then a long Long, blackish. Whee! I'm in love with myself now. Never had this much hair in my head before. Whoa, dude, that was so gorgeous. Again, another one that was like, they didn't do like so much to her and completely change her look, but it was so effective in making her look way more like a model. She looked stunning. Whoa, that hair was beautiful. Great execution on that weave. Okay, wow, 
So these makeovers were really, really stunning this season. I liked so many of them. I picked four of my favorites. I don't think I've ever done that before. Before. One of my favorites was Erin, who had the blonde hair with the blonde eyebrows, just gorgeous. Then we have Lulu, who got the bangs with the long, straight black hair. Gorgeous. We have Kara, who got a more subtle makeover with the blonde highlights. So pretty also. And then of course we have Ashley who got the center part with the really, really long locks. Subtle, but beautiful. Obviously you guys probably know who my favorite is. It's Erin. You have to admit, this is the most dramatic makeover and it made her look like an alien and it made her look like a high fashion model. And that is what they want to do is make them look like models. And that's what they did with her. I have to be my favorite. She looks so good. Oh girl, I hope your hair still looks like that because it was impeccable. Ah, uh, love me some America's Next Top Model makeovers. Oh my God, I can't, we're almost done watching all of them. What am I gonna do? Should I watch other um, countries' top models? Because I did Asia before and I did Britain before. So we could do that again. Make sure you guys subscribe to me if you're not already. It's right down below. It's so easy. Like, just do it. You can also press the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you guys want to stay connected with me and know every time I upload a new video, please text me. This is my room number. Yes, it really goes to my phone. And yes, I really do see all your messages. So text me right now and I'll be texting a few of you guys right back. Make sure you guys enter my merch giveaway. If you have not seen the beginning of this video, go Go back to it. I'm giving away all my merch to three people. Go enter. It's really easy. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles. Oh, there's so many. Just go for it. I want to stay connected with you. If you guys want amazing, beautiful hair and hair color, check out X Mono Hair on Instagram and X Mono Color on Instagram to stay up to date with all new product launches and everything we're doing. You can also shop all my hair care products and color products right down below. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Melanie. She says, hey, hey, hey. Just very curious on what you would recommend for my hair. I've had the same hair for five years, very sick of it and need a change. Just not sure what to do. Immediately I'm thinking, just chop it. I want to see that hair gone. I want to see it up to here. I just know it'll give you a new lease on life. You know, I feel like it'll revive your style. Also, make sure you get some layering in there. Your hair just looks a little bit heavy right now. Getting some layers in there will really help kind of oomph it up and give you a little more like roundness to your head up here and having a little bit of wave in there. It will look beautiful on you. If you do it, let me know. I would love to see a pic and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.